Panic Bower over there with its nodule. but covered in this white stuff today. And it's quite deep in places, which makes it hard going. Anyway, at least on this side, it's not quite so windy. Not too bad at all, actually. Simon. Today I'm GW4 TJC Portable and this is Arenic Park Golf Whiskey November Whiskey 027. This is the summit shelter as you can see where I've just finished packing up. Nearly ready to leave. Just got to finish off the last of the coffee and then I'll be braving walk back down the mountain. It's not too bad in the shelter. If I stand up, you'll notice the wind pick up. And it's rather snowy. Fortunately, up here we've got a solid uh, can, a uh, trick point, without its cap on. So my fishing pole was able to slot into that one. Otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to keep it up in all this wind. Anyway, I've operated on 40 and 20 meters. CW and SSB. The FT817 has been giving a few problems today, which it occasionally does. There's an intermittent fault. And uh, somebody else on the uh, safe watch. Right, well. Time for me to go. Getting a bit chilly. But lots of layers on, but it's never enough. So let's get the rest of that coffee. Well, I thought I was recording then, but it timed out. So you missed this bit. Ugh. I found it. Thirteen kilos on my back does not help. Ah. Ah. Well, and you know that's only going to happen again when I go across the rest of it. I think I'm going to head over there, mate. Right, this is where I want some snowshoes, isn't it? Oh dear, how deep's that? There's my knee. Oh. I'm on the last leg of the walk back to the car now. Just past the wall. And we have to meander around these fields following some markers. There's the next one down there. on a concessionary footpath. I presume this isn't access land. So we're fortunate in having a footpath provided, albeit a somewhat wiggly one. It's not bad. There's the road and there's the car. Facing towards Bala, ready to zip up to Carneva Villiast for the next photo. But let's see, where's the sun? Uh, up there somewhere. Anyway, seeing as Carneva Villiast is said to be 90 minutes each way under normal conditions. 
I doubt I'd even get to it before the sun goes down. So I'm not going to do that one. But just over there is Munith Nodal. And I'll see what it's like when I get back to the car because it's not far off the road for that one. But as with this one, there's a lot of trekking over heather. There's the next post.